guys, so as promised, this video I'm going to share with you kind of my hair loss journey. Um, I mentioned back in my August favorites video that I was losing my hair. I started losing my hair postpartum, which is completely and 100% normal, um, like three to four months postpartum. And it can last six months to a year, even longer. Um, I was freaking out. I was like just about to fall into a deep depression and I just was miserable about it. And I, thanks to so many of you guys had so much support from people just telling me like, it's normal and you're not gonna go bald, it'll grow back. I've spoken to my OBGYN, I've spoken to my hairstylist about it. So I just wanted to share with you guys some of the knowledge that was shared with me and I wanted to most importantly show you some of the products that I've been using that I think have actually been making a difference. So for the first the first thing that I learned besides the fact that it's completely normal and to be expected um, is depending on the person it could last different lengths of time. Um, just from that comment, that video, those comments alone I had some people say it lasted until their child's first birthday. I had other people say that like their child is four years old and it's still falling out. And I've had some people even say that it lasted like three months and then it stopped. So it really just depends on you. There's not like a, you know, a specific, this is what happens and this is how long it lasts. It's not cookie cutter. I wish it was. So that's the first thing I learned. I kind of just learned to just accept it, embrace it, know that it's going to happen. Basically, the number one thing that I that I took away from the whole thing is that it's not you can, you cannot do anything to stop your hair from falling out. It's gonna happen. It has to happen. Um, there's nothing you can do to stop it. So therefore, I looked into products and things that I could do to help regrowth, to help my hair grow faster instead of waiting for it all to shed and then grow it back. Basically, through your whole nine or ten months of pregnancy your hair and your prenatal vitamins and your hormones are causing your hair to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and you don't you shed but you don't shed nearly as much as you would normally if you weren't pregnant and then once you have the baby and you are in postpartum that's your body is basically shedding all of the hair that it didn't shed for that long time that you were pregnant so it makes sense. Um, on average though, on a daily basis, people lose their hair, like 100 to 150 strands of hair a day. Before postpartum, when I started losing it, I would shed once in a while. You know, in the shower, you'd have, I'd have a little bit of hair loss, or if I would just like run my fingers through my hair, I would like have a piece of hair, or I might have like a piece on my shirt. It wasn't noticeable to me. Once it happened, it was like traumatic, and it was scary, and I really, really thought I was gonna go bald. I did have a lot of people on that video also say that they have bald spots from it, so I was absolutely freaking out. Um, the first thing I did was talk to my hairstylist just because I wanted to know if there was anything she could recommend, being that she's in the industry, and I'm sure she's worked on hundreds of women that have gone through this, and she recommended the ni Nioxin line, which a lot of people on that video did. So um, I actually initially went out and got the shampoo and conditioner at Ulta, which they sell it at Ulta, which is awesome. Um, it, it, was, it is a little bit on the pricey side. I think it was like $30, a, maybe not $30, like $20 a bottle maybe. And they have different numbers. So I think I grabbed number three, but it was wrong. I needed to grab number five. It was like, they have different levels. They have like um, really fine to thinning hair and then like medium to thick hair. So you have to determine kind of what level you are. And then they have the same things they sell. They sell like kits, like shampoos, conditioners, scalp treatments, things like that. So I first had bought the shampoo and um, conditioner and I hadn't tried it yet. And I had actually bought it like the day before I spoke to her. And she said that really like she herself brought in the Nioxin line to the salon that she works at just because she's seen amazing results. Her and her husband use it. Um, it's for men and for women. But she said that she really didn't believe that the shampoos and conditioners work as much as the scalp booster works. So, and I have always, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I've always used shampoos and conditioners that are good for me, that are free of all the chemicals, that are sulfate free, paraben free. So I was pretty happy with the shampoo and conditioner I was using. So what I did was I returned the shampoo and conditioner and I got this instead. This is the scalp treatment. And I'm like really far away from the camera. So I'm just going to zoom you in. So this is the Nioxin scalp treatment. And this is number five, which is medium to coarse hair. She said that she absolutely swears by this product. This is what it looks like. It's a little spray nozzle. 
And um, this was for normal to thin looking hair, which is, I fall under that category. And basically every time you shower, you just spray it like in your roots and it's supposed to kind of regenerate your hair growth. Basically she explained to me the whole hair cycle, which I had no clue about that. Your hair growth is a three part cycle. So you have fancy names that I don't know but so the first stage in the cycle is your hair growing and then the second stage is like the transitional stage where your hair is basically stops growing and it kind of renews itself and then the third phase which is the dormant phase is when your hair just rests and when you're pregnant you you are in the dormant phase your hair is not doing anything so basically this nioxin scalp treatment kind of wakes your hair up and, and wakes your cycle up from being dormant and helps regenerate your hair growth. So when she told me that and explained it in layman's terms in black and white, it was like, that makes so much sense to me. So I went out like that day, I, like I said, and I returned the shampoo and conditioner and I, and I bought this. The shampoo and conditioner I have been using, I've been alternating between two different lines. Um, after I used up the Argon Oil and the CVS brand shampoo and conditioner, I was actually sent both of these and I wanted to like try them both at the same time because I was excited. It's the Agave Healing Oil line and I know you can get these at Sephora. So the smoothing shampoo and the smoothing conditioner. So I used these for like a week and then I switched and used the other one. So this and again, you know, free of harmful chemicals, no sulfates, no parabens, um, no harmful chemicals. It has a really nice pleasant smell, um, nothing overpowering. Really like that. And the other line was sent to me from Folica.com and it's from Petal Fresh Organics. And this is the pomegranate and acai shampoo and conditioner. And again, this is for its color protection, certified organic, safe clean without sulfates, um, GMO petrochemicals, phthalates, parabens, colors or harsh preservatives, blah, 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 v vegetarian and cruelty free. So I've been using both of these lines and I like them both. I would recommend them. Um, I like the smell actually of the pomegranate and acai, it's really, really nice. Um, so I haven't, I can't say that I would attribute my hair situation to either of those. I think shampoo and conditioner is just that. I don't, I know like I said, Nioxin makes a one that, but I feel like after I spoke to my hair stylist, I just didn't really believe that the shampoo and conditioner would make a difference. Um, the other huge thing that I learned through doing research online about this is the number one thing to do to help your hair grow is to keep your scalp clean, which I, again, I'm a moron. I never even thought of that. And like I said in my August favorites, I was limiting to washing my hair like once a week because I was so traumatized every time I would wash my hair I would have like a massacre of hair in the drain in the shower and then in my sink once I blew it dry and it was traumatizing so instead of washing my hair every two days which I normally do I was going like once a week and doing it and that's not good because if you keep your scalp clean it's gonna help to regenerate your hair follicles so since then and since I've learned that I have gone back to washing my hair typically like I normally always would like every other day sometimes every two days and I just use dry shampoo if I need to um, haven't changed the dry shampoo, I've just been using the Fakai and the uh, Lush interchangeably. Um, so in keeping with a clean scalp products that I like, this one was from Lush and I've had this for a while. It's the Snake, Snake Bar, Snake, um, I, I talked about this in a video a long time ago where I said that it smells like bacon. I still think that it smells like bacon, um, but the scent does not linger in your hair once it's dry. It's just for that moment when you use it. Um, but this is basically a scalp treatment to help um, dandruff and to help dry scalp, itchy scalp, flaky scalp. So I pulled this out again to try it. And basically, whenever, right before I take a shower, I get it really oily in my hands and I grease my scalp and my, my roots and basically just pull it back and I let it sit in my ha hair for like 20 minutes before I get into the shower and then I rinse it out. Um, the other thing that I have been using thanks to a lot of you, your suggestions is coconut oil. Um, I love coconut oil. You could have an entire video dedicated to the many uses of coconut oil. I have one like downstairs in my kitchen pantry and then I have one upstairs to moist as a moisturizer, a makeup remover, scalp treatment so here is where this comes in um, 
once a week, sometimes every other week, I do an intensive coconut oil treatment. And basically what I do is I just get like a hand, like a palm full, not, not a ton of it, because the first time I did it, I used too much and I had to like shampoo my hair like multiple times to get it out. But I use like probably a tablespoon and I get it in my hand and it's a solid because it's, it's kept in my bathroom closet so it's like room temperature. Um, if you had it in like a warmer climate or in a warmer place in your house, it would liquefy, which is completely normal. But um, I get like a tablespoon in my palm of my hand and I rub it and it does liquefy once your the heat from your hands warms up the product, becomes a liquid. And again, I drench my entire scalp, roots, ends, all the way, everything. I drench my entire head in it. While I'm up there, I give myself a really good intensive scalp massage. I just rub it into my scalp as best as I can to kind of get everything flowing, get the blood flowing and try to wake everything up. Um, and then I kind of put it into a loose bun and I tie it back and I cover it with a shower cap and I sleep with it overnight. And then the next day I use one of my shampoos and I just rinse it out. And between, I will say, between the coconut oil, the snake bar, and the nioxin, I have definitely noticed my hair regrowth. Like, and I've even gotten comments in recent videos like, your hair looks so full. It is. It has grown. So I can't pinpoint the exact product. And normally I would try one product for a little while and then try this and try that to actually see what, what's working. But because I was so like anxious to have more hair growth, I was using them all at the same time. So I, if it was me, in my humble opinion, I really think the coconut oil has helped, and I really think that nioxin scalp treatment has helped. With the nioxin treatment, I, like I said, put it into my roots, and then I, again, like once I have it sprayed all over, I just massage it in, and it's almost like a nice tingly cooling sensation. It's a really nice feeling, and I make sure that it's really well absorbed into my scalp when I get out of the shower. The other thing that I will say has helped, um, I went back to using the Tresemme Split Remedy Leave-In um, conditioner and I like that because the fact is my hair is still shedding um, it doesn't shed as much though like I will say the shedding has cut back a lot and I don't know if it's due to the the products that I'm using or now because I'm almost six months postpartum but um, when I comb out my hair and when I am in the shower um, it gets it, it gets tangly and so I have been kind of relying on this to put in when I get out of the shower, just on the ends, just from like here down. Um, I use that just to make combing through it a little bit easier and a little bit less where you're tugging on your hair and making your hair shed even more than you have to. So I definitely would recommend if you are someone that is losing your hair for one reason or another, um, invest in a good leave-in conditioner to make it, you know, less harsh when you're brushing out your hair. The other thing that I use and swear by, and I've talked about this before, this is no shock, this is the Tangle Teaser, and I've used this even before I was losing my hair. It just does that. It gets the tangles out, makes, your, makes it really easy to comb through your hair when it's wet. So between this and the leave-in conditioner, I do feel like I'm having minimal shedding when I'm combing my hair when it's wet, which I feel like is when I lose the most hair. Um, so I definitely would recommend this. I know a lot of people have talked about the wet brush, which I have not tried yet. Um, as a comparable, if not better, option than the Tangle Teaser, both of which you can get at Sally Beauty. Um, <coughs> so that is that. I think, um, like I said, I think I, I'm to the point now where I've it's been three months and I'm not bald, so I have hope that it's just going to continue until it doesn't anymore. But um, I think the most annoying thing for me at this point is just the the amount of hair that I find everywhere all over my house. I'm really surprised my husband hasn't said anything to me yet, but I, I have been very conscious of like every time after I shower I clean out the drain. Every time after I'm done blowing dry my hair, I clean out the sink, I clean the floor, like I pick up as much as I can, but I am constantly finding pieces of hair all over my house, all over my daughter, like all over her clothes, and that's the other thing too. She likes to pull and grab onto my hair a lot, so she'll have like sometimes a couple pieces in her hands. Um, I just feel like my hair is everywhere and that's really annoying. There's no way to stop that from happening, which stinks. But I will say that my fallout has decreased and my regrowth is insane. Like when I, um, just to give it into perspective, this is like 
going on my third day of, of not washing it. I have to wash it tomorrow morning. But when I um, first was starting to experience this, I would do what I normally do is on a daily basis, I have my hair up because like I said, my daughter likes to pull and I'm breastfeeding so it's just better if it's up and out of my way. When I was first starting to lose my hair, I would have it up and I would put a clip in. It would never stay because my hair was so thin, it would automatically fall out my clip. Like it would just, my hair was just so thin. And now I have like a mane. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like my hair is a, is back to its thick self with the exception of me losing more than I ever did before. Um, a lot of people too said once the regrowth happens, they start to get like, Baby hair, baby hair is popping up along the scalp, and I have noticed, and I don't even know, like, I was watching back when I was editing my last video, I forget which one it was, I noticed, like, around my, my hairline was, like, I feel like there was, like, mats of hair, um, so in the, you know, normally I would be like, oh, that's so weird, but now I'm like, yay, I'm, my hair is growing back, so I have noticed, like, little patches um, of like little baby hairs coming through, which I'm totally fine with. I know a lot of people said that's more annoying than losing your hair, but I'm totally fine. If I can actually physically see hair coming through, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. So I hope that this video helped. I really just wanted to harp on the, the three things that I learned is one, it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. You can't really stop the hair loss. Two, uh, keep a clean scalp. And three, Find products that help regenerate regenerate your hair growth, not stop your hair from falling out. A lot of people mention biotin um, and prenatal vitamins. And as far as prenatal vitamins go, I have not stopped taking my prenatal vitamins since before I was trying to get pregnant. Like, I have been literally on them for over a year. Um, just because I'm breastfeeding and I, I just, I'm probably always going to take them now until we're done having kids. But um, if you aren't taking prenatal vitamins, those might be worth it to help you with your, it actually helps your hair and your nails grow. Um, as far as biotin, I did talk to my doctor about it, and she said I could try it, but she's heard mixed things about it. And I know a lot of people actually did swear by it in my video. I'm just someone that hates taking anything that I don't need to take. Like, I'm very stubborn when, it, when I get sick. I don't like taking medication. Um, my prenatals, obviously I take them because I need to take them for when I was pregnant and now that I'm breastfeeding, but any unnecessary things I just don't want to be taking. So I never did try the biotin, but, um, I have heard good results from people that have taken it. Um, if you are someone that suffers from hair loss, definitely check out my August favorites video. If nothing more than just to look at the comments because a lot of people left some really good recommendations. Some other people have like videos that they posted about hair loss. That's in those comments and some other products that have helped them. So I will link my August favorites video if you guys are wanting to just see what what works for other people to have, you know, different opinions on the matter, but that is everything for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.